Okay, so um, these are three separate skimmers from three different instances that we're investigating right now. I consider this one to be the most um, unsophisticated. This is a part for a legitimate ATM machine, I'm sure that was produced as parts for ATM machines, but criminals got their hands on them and have altered them. So basically this device is where you would put your card in, you would slide it over the legitimate ATM, and it would fit in place and look relatively um, legitimate from the outside. This hole here is actually was put in specifically to cover a bolt that was on the legitimate ATMs so that it couldn't be pulled out or, or stolen from the device. On the back though is where they're telling that there's issues here. Um, this is a, a battery that powers the, the skimmer and this is the actual skimming technology with a chip and it basically captures data from the card as it goes into the legitimate ATM machine. And that information is then stored. There's, for example, here, this gray, this is actually sticky tape of some sort that keeps it in place. So it's not very sophisticated. And therefore, the, the, the true tile sign that this is a, a skimmer over a legitimate ATM machine is that you could actually pull this off with very little effort. So if you're pulling, if you go up to your ATM machine and make it a practice to actually give it a tug and get a good tug. If it doesn't come off, chances are it's a legitimate ATM that you're using. Uh, if you pull this off, give me a call. Can you talk about the, uh, the ones that, with the camera as well? So as we move on, it's the second one is a little bit more sophisticated. When I mean sophisticated, the, uh, the chip is a little bit smaller, the battery is smaller, uh, the wiring is more professional. You can see how it's attached there. Um, so it's a little, and, but again, it's a, I'm sure this part was initially produced to go on to a legitimate ATM as a spare part that would replace if the uh, ATM machine was damaged or whatever, and they fell into the hands of criminals who then alter them for their, their own means. And then the most sophisticated one that I've seen so far is this one. And so this would be a combination effort that you have your skimmer again that goes over the legitimate ATM. It has a battery operated uh, and a chip there that ga gathers the data. And then above it, in the actual ATM, and there's pictures from the internet you can see, because some ATMs have a kind of like, a little, you know, a, a cowling over the top of the pin pad. It would be stuck up on that, facing down. So it would actually, from the outside, it would look like part of the, on the script piece of the ATM facade. But you have inside, you have the pinhole camera which on the back, you have two batteries operating. It takes more power to use the, uh, the camera. And recording chip there, where the video is caught. And there's six gigs of video. So there's about three or four hours of fingers being seen using the ATM machine and typing in personal pins, which correlates with this. And therefore, our suspects have the, the, the card data as well as the person's private pin. How lucky? How lucky is it that you guys, you know, got your hands on this information for the people? Uh, it's extremely lucky. Uh, now, there are other models out there, I've heard, that are Bluetooth operated. And these are um, sending through usually Wi-Fi areas. And let's face it, downtown's got lots of Wi-Fi. So the suspect could be sitting close by getting real-time data collected. So rather than going onto a chip, it's going onto the suspect's laptop, notebook, wherever they are gathering it real time, and that data would be gone. For all I can tell in these ones is that the data that was captured, if there is that, we have that, and the criminals got it. So this has saved people lots of money? Right? Thousands. And not necessarily save the people, because most likely they would be compensated by their financial institutions if they were within operating within the, the rules of their contract, but it, it's, it, it does cost us in the end of the day. We're all paying 19 to 21% uh, interest rates on our credit cards because of the behavior of criminal skimming. So. Have you had any of these additional footage you guys? Are these, are these three in the last six weeks are the only events you have with this kind of operation? We, 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 we know that this has been going on in our community. Mm -hmm. um, when I mean our community, not just the city of Victoria, but you know, we are a tourist oriented region. And we are receiving, we, we have received uh, on the certain dates information from the different uh, financial institutions that they've had on the process. But 
the end of the day, um, this is the concrete for First time I've had this one. 